what it is guys me again and today we're back with another video and an announcement so if you guys don't know i am in the runnings to become inked magazine's next uh cover girl uh which is really exciting i'm actually doing pretty well we've got about three more rounds and i would really really love to implore you guys to vote for me uh how do you do that you may ask you can go to the link below i will or the description box below i'll leave the link there you can also follow me on instagram and the link is in the bio uh, you can vote once a day every day for free every day every day every day every day you can do it once for free and that will help push me to the top don't you want to see these dreads on the cover of inked magazine i know i do also, as an extra incentive, share this video. Like this video, we can reach more people. And if we do that, and if this video gets 50 likes, I know it's not that big, so 50 is all I'm asking for. Um, if this video gets 50 likes, I will go live on Tuesday. Um, answering your questions, we can laugh, we can keep key, I can spill my tea, you can spill some of your tea. It'll be a good old time. So. That being said, thank you for listening. Let's get on to the video. So this video, sorry, I've got like mad flyaways and I'm not really gonna fix them today because I'm about to wash my hair. So deal with it, all right? We're just, we're just gonna let these, we're just gonna let these be. We are going to talk about this item right here. Okay, let's ignore this. This item right here here it is a hat not made for dreads um the person on the package was a caucasian adult female with not the most abundant amount of hair um but when i saw it um i immediately thought yes i could use this as a dread product and i found it at the dallas store if you're in canada uh dollarama to be specific um, it cost me about, because we all know, do well, Dollarama Plus, because it's not Dollarama anymore, it cost me $4, but still, for $4, it's like, um, sort of like a tiny infinity scarf with a visor, um, it's got a drawstring, I don't even know what they call this, it's just a multi-purpose sun visor. Boop. Um, and the material, I don't know if you can hear that. But it's very, it's almost like satin, but it's very, very soft, um, which is great to um, minimize like harsh friction and good for hair growth, just like a, a silk satin case, or sorry, a satin pillowcase, but it's a hat. Um, the brim is pretty small, but it does cover your face, so you do get sun protection. And this is adjustable, so you can wear it many ways. If your dreads are short, you can even, like, once you put it in a ponytail, you can probably close the drawstring, or maybe not close the drawstring, but, like, I don't know. I'll show you a picture if I can find it. But you can close the drawstring and just, like, make it sort of look like a big um, dad hat. But I'll show you how I wear it. Otherwise, you just put your dreads through and wear it in a high ponytail. Hi, Ponytail. I'm not gonna do anything fancy, you guys, because I am kind of in a rush. Also, sorry for looking bummish. Um, I have like no time to film, but I just really wanted to put this one out there because I thought it was really cool, especially the fact that I found this at Dollarama. Also, yeah, it does have a little like cancer um, awareness. I don't know what you call it. Anyhow, so boom. This is how I have been wearing it. And I did buy this like a couple weeks ago. I wanted to sort of use it before I gave like a review about it. So I have been wearing it uh, on and off for like the past couple weeks. And this is what it looks like. Giving you that tennis mom realness. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's not hideous. You know, it really isn't. It's not bad. And then you can also wear low ponytail. You can wear your hair out, down, and just wear it like a 
like a visor visor. Oh, it's just not so bad either. Maybe I'll do this this weekend. Um, the only down part to it is that it is a bit floppy. So like I wouldn't go jogging with this. Cause like, look at that, look at, look at that. Oh, and one thing that I should also mention is it is great to wear underneath um, bike helmets. So if you're biking, I just, or like when I'm biking, I'll just like pull the front part as much to the back as I can. And then I'll just like throw my helmet. I have a nutcase helmet. Here, hang on, I'll show you. It's like, um, we call it like snowboard style helmet for bikes, not snowboarding helmet, but that's like the style I call it anyways. And then, so I pull this to the back and then it fits It fits underneath. And then um, I really like that because helmets are very abrasive on dreads. Um, before I was wearing like silk sleeping caps underneath and that looked really ridiculous to the point where I just stopped wearing helmets. And when you're biking as much as I do, you don't wanna not wear helmets. I have been hit by a car before and it's not fun. Although clearly I lived, but that won't be the case for most other people. So yeah, that is my review. Thank you for tuning in again. Thank you for watching. Um, please remember to vote for me. Please remember you can do it daily. We are almost to the end. I know I've been spamming you guys about this, but it would really mean a lot to me uh, if I if I won. And it would mean a lot to you guys, maybe, because then I could invest more in this channel, a bit more time, and a lot of bit more money. So yeah, um, until next time, bye.